I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge to do my best for Thero and work to achieve school's goals. I'm committed to striving to do better. I'm continuously improving. I will look up, not down. Forward, not back. I will uphold the standard of excellence and become the finest individual that I can possibly be. I am a global citizen, positively impacting every life that I reach. I am college bound, college ready, and committed to succeed in life. I am a Thero Panther. Man my Thero Panther. I am a Thero Panther. Yo soy Thero. I am a Thero Panther. Good morning, Thero Panthers. My name is Ashari Hankerson. And now I'm Donovan Harris. Today is February the 6th, 2015. Welcome to this week's new show. First and foremost, we would like to wish everyone a happy birthday that was born in the month of January. Now we would like to wish everyone a happy birthday that was born during the week of February 1st through February 7th. Those students are Quinn Scott, Darnisha Chambers, Keanu Robinson, John Taha Williams, Marcus Myers, Jaha Akbar, Brianna Johnson, Linwood Richardson, Shania Benny, Justin O, Chance Clayton, Elbra Noya, Jasmine Rogers, Talisha Chambers, and Cartez Nash. When you see those students, wish them a happy birthday. Japanese journalist Kenji Goto ventured to Syria to tell the stories of lives turned apart about the war. He suffered his own gruesome fate, however, apparently becoming the latest foreigner to be decapitated by the terrorist group ISIS. A newly distributed video from ISIS appears to show the beheaded body of Goto. It came one week after a video surfaced, showing him holding a photo of what appeared to be the corpse of his fellow Japanese captive, Haruna Yakawa. Recently, there was a bomb scare early Monday morning on the 17th Street Bridge here in Atlanta. The bomb scare caused the downtown connector to be shut down both ways for a long period of time. The supposed bomb was a camera placed by Georgia State University students. GSU apologizes for the bomb scare and plans on removing any other cameras they have placed around the city. The must-haves include having the latest cutting-edge technology, military communication systems equipment that allow the president to work as if he's sitting in the Oval Office in Washington. The president must be able to conduct secure video conferences and phone calls, access classified government documents, computer networks, and order a nuclear strike. It also needs an operating room, walk-in refrigerator, and defensive systems that could allow the jetliner to evade a missile attack. Now let's head over to our sports segment with Taylor Terry and Kenyandre Monford. Good morning, Thero Panthers. My name is Taylor Terry. And I'm KJ Mumford. And as you all know, last Sunday was the Super Bowl where the defending champions lost to the New England Patriots 28-24. Okay, now, the game started off. It was a pretty even, pretty even game the right. whole time, I, right? I, I, I feel what you're saying. And then, but at the end, though, like, you know. All the, the momentum shifted. No, but hold on, though. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay, the Patriots was losing. The Se Seahawks was, was, was gaining the lead or, or, you know, they was gaining the lead on the Patriots. Yeah. Then, just snap. Want to say what happened, Taylor? What? Missed the fourth quarter Tom Brady came into the game. Man, you With know two what? minutes left. Bro, I am, I am. The See, interception I'm on the one yard line, which most people would say was a bad call. Did you see the lucky play before that? The lucky catch? Know. Yeah, that, that catch. Now, that's how you know you should have won the game. All that right. catch right there. And other news, Serena Williams won her 19 grand slam against Maria and then name. in college basketball, Kentucky in the men's side is the only undefeated team. All right, we got to talk about that for a minute because it doesn't matter how many games they went up to now, but if they lose in March, it's all over. It's over with. Yeah. March Madness. But in, on women's, it's Princeton, shockingly. They're unranked Un team, undefeated. I mean, come on. Also, now. South Carolina, though, yeah, which is I mean, ranked number one. Ranked number one, but. For being undefeated you know, by Princeton. I, I, I watched they. Last second on the last game, uh -huh. it was a little iffy. Now I'm like, 
Now, you know, South Carolina's supposed to be playing Connecticut. Oh, yeah, that game is coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Now, it's now if, South, if South Carolina played the way they did last game, they're going to lose. All right, speaking of that game, who you have? I know you kind of you kind of fan. I am UConn fan. But you kind of favor South Carolina. But I like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle between UConn and I South know. Carolina. I, I, I don't I, know. know. I think I, I, I got UConn in this one. I mean, you know. Anyway, on to the NBA. The Hawks had a 19-game winning streak, but was cut short Monday night against the Pelicans, 115 to 100. And the Hawks are surprisingly number one team in the East. But however, the Cavs have been on the roll as well. With LeBron back, Kevin Love, and Kyrie playing how they've been playing. East and back is packed. Huh, anyway. And in Therewolf Sports News, today is senior night. Woo! And Taylor, I heard you hoop a little bit. A little something, something. How you do a little something, something on the court? All right. Today, the girls and boys will be playing Westminster, Westminster. High School at what time? Six o'clock. So be the singers turn up. Support us, y'all. Now let's go to hashtag What's Trending with Sydney Terry. Hey there, Panthers. Are you ready to see What's Trending? The Super Bowl aired Sunday, February 1st, 2015 in Phoenix. It was the Seattle Seahawks versus the New England Patriots. Now, did y'all see that halftime performance by Katy Perry, Missy Elliott? My favorite part was when Katy Perry was on the shooting star flying around the stadium singing fireworks. And here are your latest shoes. We have the PB&Js, the KD7s, and the Court Vision LeBron 12s. They came out Wednesday, February 4th, 2015. Next week is Valentine's Day. For all you lovely couples, we are having a sweetheart segment. If you would like to shout out a special someone, see me next week. Now for the Vine of the Week. Right, let's go, bro. Right now, hurry up. Hold on, do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Now to Courtney Hayes with our current events. Good morning, Thera High School. My name is Courtney Hayes, and I'm here with your current events. Today, the varsity basketball team will play Westminster here at the school starting at 5.30 p.m. It is senior night, so we will need 100% senior participation. Senior picture makeup will take place on February 10th at 9 a.m. Passes will be given out by Ms. Green on Monday. Thank you. Good morning, DM Thera. I'm Jordan Hawthorne, and it is the start of February, which means it's the start of Black History Month. And I'm going to bring to your attention some profound black people that have done great things for the city of Atlanta. Who I'm going to bring to your attention today is Mr. Andrew Young. He was a revolutionary part of the Civil Rights Movement. Born March 12, 1932, he was a politician, pastor, diplomat, and activist. He ended up being the 55th mayor of Atlanta and he brought $70 billion of new private investment. He also expanded programs for minority and female businesses. He established the Dream Jamboree College Fair that tripled scholarships given to Atlanta public school graduates. He was also involved in renovating the Atlanta Zoo, which was then renamed the Zoo Atlanta. Overall, Andrew Young has done a phenomenal job with the city of Atlanta. He's done a lot of great things for us and everybody who's come before us. So I just want to give appreciation to him this February. And that is all for this new show. Don't forget Panthers to come out and support our basketball teams on their senior night. And think about these words that Brene Brown said. What's the greater risk? Letting go of what people think of you? Or letting go of how I feel, what I believe, and who I am? Have a great day, have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Friday.